When you're drawing a building in Vectorworks, you should be using the wall tool. That should be self-explanatory. But what may not be quite so, when you draw when you're drawing a building in Vectorworks, you should really be using the wall tool. And I hope that that doesn't need any explanation. But maybe what you don't know is that you can use wall styles to quickly draw one different wall after another. I've got internal balustrade walls, proposed internal walls, exterior walls, demolished walls, and so on. And it makes it very quick to jump between one wall style and another. I just need to zoom in for a bit so I can show you in detail. So in this area here, I might have some existing walls. Now if those walls wanted to be demolished, I might use my split tool, split that wall up into parts, and then just select the bits that I want to change, that one and that one. So one of the advantages of, of wall styles is that you can easily change from one wall style to another. going to select all those and delete them now. Another advantage of using wall styles is this ability to make quite complex walls. This wall has exterior cladding, it has internal lining, and it has framing as well. Now if we zoom in, you can see the exterior cladding, which is on a class. So I can turn that class off, I can turn off my cavity, I can turn off my internal lining, and it just leaves me with the framed part of the wall. This allows me to create viewports where sometimes I see the entire wall and sometimes I just see the framing. Another advantage of using wall styles.